Hi, I'm Janara with All Access Cape Cod, bringing you every month health and fitness. And today I'm with Michelle McLennan, raw vegan chef educator. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Jen. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Uh, so we're going to cleanse ourselves, detoxify for the summertime so we're feeling good, ready to go? Yes. You know, um, wellness and health really does come from the inside out. A lot of people think it's from the outside in and we're so busy working out all the time that we sometimes forget about our, our nutrition. So today I would like to show you a few simple items that you can make that's all raw and vegan so it's not cooked. And um, it's something that everybody can do at home without special types of equipment. I decided that it would be really fantastic to make a kale salad. Ooh. A lot of people, when they think of kale, they think one of two things. Number one, a garnish. It's a toss right? away. Yeah. Or number two, let's cook it to death in kale soup and add sausage to it, <laughs> which is fine. But really, there's so much nutrition in this kale that we have to take advantage of it. Yeah. And kale is really um, durable when you put a dressing on it, and it will maintain its integrity a couple of days later versus a salad would be disgusting the next day with dressing now, on it. Now, is that true with vegetables? Um, the more you cook your vegetable, the less nutrients you're going to have? Absolutely. You cook out most of the nutrients when you're cooking your vegetables, so it's great to eat as raw as possible. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is take the kale and take, a piece, of kale. Yep, take okay. a piece of kale, right. and what you're going to do is just take the leaves off and leave the spine, because the spine is just um, too uh, difficult to negotiate in your teeth, <laughs> to navigate with the teeth. It just gets kind of messy. It gets kind of messy. <laughs> For two and a half years, I was an obsessed little vegan trying to figure out how I could create things So you cut out all meat in your diet. I was kind of like focus. A, I was kind of like, get this buzzword, a pescatarian for a little while. Really? Yes, that's not a religious denomination. <laughs> that is basically a fish What eater. is that? That's a fish <laughs> so What I'm doing here, Jen, yeah, what is I've doing? got these fabulous sun-dried tomatoes that are just uh, resting They in look little, so good, the color. Yes, resting so in a juicy. little olive oil, a little E-V-O-O, -O, as Rachel Ray says. And we're going to chop it up and we'll throw it in the bowl. Something throw that, it in the bowl? Yeah, throw it right in. So, now I'm going to give you an avocado. With raw vegans, avocado is like butter, it's mayonnaise, yes. it's cheese, it's anything that we need the texture of smoothie creamy. You don't want it to, you know, be uh, pasty or anything. We want it to remain chunky. Now this is called namashoya. Now namashoyo is just soy sauce that's unpasteurized. When you pasteurize something, they heat it up to a boiling and it kills all the enzymes so there's not a lot of healthy nutrients left in there. Kind of like cooking the veggies. Exactly. So it's <clears throat> uncooked, unpasteurized soy sauce. A little bit of soy sauce on it and this is so mm. flavorful and delicious. It's mm. fabulous. And that is it. Now, for a little, see that was three ingredients, right? Or yeah. four. So sun-dried tomatoes, kale, avocado, and namashoyu. Okay. okay. That's it. And what I'm going to do is just add a little jazziness to it, is put some hemp seeds in there. These are the good seeds, right, Michelle? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hemp seeds, <laughs> there's no THC in this. Yeah. Although you'll be really smiling yeah, if it did. Some people would probably like that, but. Yeah. No, hemp has got great <laughs> essential fatty acids. EFAs okay. are just abound in hemp nuts. And it's a great source of protein. Mm, 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 mm. That is so good. Mm. Isn't that good? Throw the avocado in the blender. We're gonna do one cup of water. So okay. you use your filtered water, bottled water, whatever you have. You wanna use something that's pure. Okay, two cucumbers. Okay. With the skin on. With the skin on. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna use one cup of spinach. Okay, and then two scallions. Uh, one clove of garlic. I put into one third of a uh, red bell pepper. Okay, tablespoon of fresh lime. Now, masala is from India. And it's really, really nice because it has cardamom, Ooh. cinnamon, cloves, cumin, and black pepper and coriander. I've never seen it before. I have come a long way if I'm doing soup shoes. Cheers, shooters. Michelle. Cheers. Woo! I'll send you home with a doggy bag. Oh my God. I love it. I'm going to take it all home. I definitely feel a lot smarter yeah. and healthier. <laughs> well, that's after meeting with you today, Michelle. Thank you so yeah. much. You are welcome, Jen. I truly Jen. appreciate it. Come by anytime, my kitchen. Thank you so much. You're the best. You are too.